He's accomplished all these feats of strength by 27, pushing a fucking pace. And he wants to chill out a bit. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to another BS Cloud Grab. Only way to get views on YouTube. But first, let's not forget about the ASMR SIP. I'm down real bad, it's like the Sahara Desert down here. Like, these are micro sips at this point. I have a package in the mail. Microscopic ASMR sip. I know it's getting weaker. 1907.com coupon code Russo, check them out. And let's not forget about the ASMR spritz, which is intelligent elephant carbon, intelligent elephant coupon code Russo. A lot of people bought it. You guys just hear the, that noise is so addicting and it definitely makes you want to use coupon code Russo. Today, I'm talking about Larry Wheels quit steroids. All right, this is the clickbait going around. Larry Wheels quit steroids. Let's go for the fact that Larry Wheels isn't quitting steroids. Basically, what Larry is stating is that he's having a, I wouldn't say a midlife crisis, let's say. I'll have Andrew throw up the definition of a paradigm shift. Larry's having a paradigm shift in a different aspect. He's growing up, and overall, I think it more comes down to the motherfucker is real life Hercules. All the little peasants in his comment section are like, hit new PR, hit new PR, hit new PR. He's at like an a thousand pound deadlift. Think of the amount of fucking androgens it takes to get that fucking strong. And for those who don't know, every time Larry does an extreme lift like that, it's life risking in my opinion. The pressure at the top of those lifts, as far as blood pressure is concerned, of balancing those movements. What does Larry have to prove doing all these rapid PRs? It's ruining his body. We are seeing the bodies drop dead. Why are the bodies dropping dead? at such a rapid rate because no one comes off these crazy fucking dosages because of TikTok instant gratification, Instagram instant gratification, and then YouTube, right? People constantly are trying to pull clout when your whole thing is based on vanity, not intelligence, and I'm not saying Larry isn't an intelligent, well-spoken dude. He's ultimate, black pill, Sigma-based. I've had tons of respect for Larry to come on camera, open up about his cam girl addiction, open up about his steroid abuse. He's a great example of a, you know, super high output, masculine man who shows his sincerity and feelings i'm not saying that i'm saying that larry is this genetic super freak that has been juicing his brains out since like 17 he's accomplished all these feats of strength by 27 pushing a fucking pace and he wants to chill out a bit. There's nothing wrong with that. That's all he's stating. He's not quitting steroids. He's fucking thinking. For me to constantly hit these PRs, I have to be doing this cycle. I have to be eating until I'm sick all the time. I'm at the top of the fucking pyramid. I'm balling out in Dubai. He's got properties in the States. He has all these LLCs in his name, tons of employees. He's a personal brand. And more importantly, people follow Larry for Larry, the soul, not the juiced up vanity body that's unmaintainable. If he maintains that peak, you know, super Hercules, juiced up freakazoid physique, we all know what's gonna happen. People get pissed at me because I built a physique. I like the posing footage of me crazed out on injectable storms at 250. That's a look. I say it's a look. Do I look like that right now? No. Why? I don't maintain those ridiculous androgen levels 24 seven. I'm not trying to kill myself at an insane rapid rate. I'm here to show what those drugs yielded in the combination, the side effects I documented. And then I go back in the cruise, I chill out, something more maintainable, low dosages, 
And overall, I linearly progressed on low dosages on my career. Experimented with specific things and I did a couple big blasts to prove that I can achieve a big look, 260, right? I've done it. Put Larry in perspective. Genetic super freak, juiced him up, constantly hitting these feats of strength, bodybuilding, boom, PR, PR, skyrocketing to the top. He's getting what he deserves as far as, you know, the genetic lottery paired with the extreme hard work, paired with the pharmacology abuse. He's accomplished it all. When we look at these other elite powerlifters, we'll say like Brian Shaw, they're not constantly constantly hitting PRs like Larry was for a long time on Instagram, blowing up his clout. You know, they're very strategic. They have their strongman competition once a year. They train for that, they peak for that. Larry and his peak on the come up. Man, I'd be watching him on Instagram, crazy shit, crazy shit, crazy shit. And then he got real competitive in elite powerlifting, crazy PR crazy never seen total crazy strongman thing i don't blame him at all for being at 28 years old already like looking back look at that legacy i need to chill live fast die young maybe i come to a paradigm shift i'll still hit it i'll still go after a pr but like from now on these prs these feats i want time i, I want to be more about you know moving my content into just being about me and then maybe once a year i go on a big blast expose myself to what i know i need to hit that a thousand pound deadlift and that's that's your treat for me for the whole year that is justifiable if he continued at the pace he was at we, we all know what happens we've seen ronnie coleman the man the myth the legend the goat pushing himself like that larry's seen it all larry has all of these examples laid out across the board of what happens and i'm sure not every scare has been publicly revealed as far as the androgen abuse the muscle tears how bad his body gets beat up by powerlifting that's why i have tremendous respect for powerlifting but i personally don't do it when i was young in the gym i was that little guy pushing powerlifting i'll have andrew throw up my red 140 video where i'm like banging out four plates at 18. i was all about getting strong as fuck and the old guys would come up and you know it's like the typical old guys and you're like you know i remember when my back didn't hurt and i could do that like that stuck in my mind let's put it to level 1000 larry the strongest dude ever to exist in history pound for pound he knows that same thing he's trying to space out longevity in his career he's done being fed up by the i guarantee when he goes on his instagram like larry hasn't hit a pr in a while larry why aren't you lifting like there's no reason for the peasants to demand from the king when the king has already given so much are you not entertained can you not leave me in my peace he will reign longer. He will go on to inspire health and fitness in a good way and be completely transparent and based. And I respect his decision. Do I respect the clickbait? Oh, I'm, I'm coming off steroids. You're not coming off steroids. And like in the fact of Andrew Thrupp, he plays. Going completely off isn't an option for me. I cannot produce testosterone naturally. Yeah, he says like he can't make natural testosterone again. I don't know. You know, I feel like he could recover his natural testosterone. He would look like a shell of what he is. And overall, the constant androgen level of a HRT. And I believe he referenced, you know, how Derek keeps his HRT where like you, you go on the lowest dose, you pull, see where your number's at. And then whatever dose you need is like around the seven to eight nine hundred mark you stick in there boom that's actual hrt right so he's gonna figure that out he's gonna cruise on that maybe once a year after you know he does more content about himself which i'm for and that's that's where i'm at right you know i've done all the experiments I, i'm going to go into my black pill channel i'm going into my car like i'm with larry he's lifted all his life he's been in the dojo he's been after prs his whole life there's more to life than that. Awesome to see him think that. Awesome to see that. Why do I have to get all this right now? Right now, right now, right now. Where I've already gotten so much, I already have this legacy. Now it's about longevity. Where Ronnie was like, I need to train right now, right now, right now, right now. Boom. We see how Ronnie is in his old age versus Dexter Jackson. Went to machine work. Maybe he didn't build as quickly. Have the density. Longevity. Legacy is longevity. I'll see you guys in my next video.